Hey, it's Justin and Bethany from The Flack Fam. Welcome back. It's a new week and a new video and an all new you. Is this what we are now? A mix of daily affirmations and travel? Seems like a viable niche. It's not a niche. We're doing an intro. We're doing an intro. We're doing an intro once we've been at the parks all day and um, looked like trash. It is what it is. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That tree blew stuff all over my eyeballs. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you okay? Can you Great. see? I can see. I can see the, the blue of the car moved. Okay, well, anyway, today we wanted to talk about something that we often talk about between the two of us or with people that we travel with when we talk about where we want to eat. Typically, the conversation goes from where do we want to eat to where should we go if we can't get a reservation at that first place. So many restaurants on Disney properties require reservations that sometimes you think it's your only option, and that can be discouraging. There are also people who don't know they need reservations, and then they show up and are disappointed because they don't feel they can find a place to eat. So today, we're going to help you out by talking in no particular order about four places at Disney Springs that we frequent that don't require reservations. First on our list is good for a quick breakfast, lunch, or dinner. One of our go-to's has always been the Earl of Sandwich, at least since it opened. In fact, we liked it so much that after our first visit, we tried to bring a franchise to our neck of the woods, but that was before they had franchising options, so it didn't work out. Well, yeah, it didn't work out. It is one of our go-to's, but I wouldn't say it's quick by any means. Well, yeah, but with mobile order, it is getting better. There are a lot of good choices here, but we love the holiday turkey, the the caprese and the pepperoni pizza. Don't forget to order a brookie. Half brownie, half cookie. It's delicious. Number two on our list is the daily poutine. This is the perfect snack. We usually order a couple of different items and then share between us. You can't go wrong with anything on the menu, but we usually get a traditional Canadian poutine because it's the OG. French fries, beef poutine gravy, and cheese curds. We also really like the loaded frites. French fries, queso blanco, iceberg lettuce, pico de gallo, bacon, and garlic ranch dressing. If those don't appeal to you, there's always the Korean barbecue, the Italian poutine, or the New Delhi poutine. Grab your order and head over to Dockside Margaritas for a cold drink, and if you're lucky, some live music in the shade. Coming in at number three on our list is a pretty popular and sometimes confusing to find burger shop. Is it really that confusing or do we just get turned around? Either way, we're talking about Deluxe Burger. And if you haven't tried this and you like hamburgers, fries, and a plethora of dipping sauces, this is your place. Deluxe Burger also offers mobile order and we highly recommend you use it even if you plan on dining in because the wait for your food can sometimes be a bit long. I really like the barbecued burger, two pressed patties topped with a fried onion ring, Munster cheese, bacon, barbecue sauce, grilled onion, and lettuce. If you like something a bit different and you enjoy a bit of spice like me, then go for the El Diablo Burger, two patties blended with chorizo, fried banana peppers, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onion, and chipotle mayo. It also comes with a free clogged artery and a trip to your cardiologist, so don't worry too much. Don't forget to order some fries. Yes, they are good, but the reason has to be to try the sauces. Purists can go with the ketchup, but there are a variety of sauces like garlic ranch, horseradish, chipotle mayo, three mustard and honey, buffalo blue cheese, curry ketchup. They're all good, so don't be shy. Just grab a bunch and dig in. We'd be selling you short if we didn't mention their shakes. They have a chocolate gelato shake, cookies and cream, s'mores, strawberry or vanilla, or if you're looking for something for the adults, they have a smoked bourbon gelato shake or a bananas fosters gelato shake. 
Seating can be hard to come by, so be patient, but despite that, this is definitely a great option. We've reached number four on our list, and even though we said we didn't put these in any particular order, we've got to be honest and say that this is probably one of our favorites. We're talking about the Polite Pig. It wasn't always one of our favorites, though. On our first visit there, we had really high expectations, and sadly, we weren't that impressed. However, one night, we had planned to go somewhere else, and those plans fell through. We decided to give it another try, and we were blown away. You can't go wrong with the smoked turkey BLT or the fried chicken sandwich, but we would recommend getting the butcher board for two. It comes with polite pork, smoked chicken, prime brisket, and cheddar sausage. Also, coleslaw, pickles, cornbread, and two side dishes. For sides, go for the barbecued cauliflower, the grilled street corn, or the crispy Brussels sprouts. We got the butcher board for two, and you get to choose two sides. We chose street corn and cauliflower. It had paprika, and I'm not really sure what those seeds are, I forgot but it does have brisket and chicken and actually that's probably pulled pork and then this is brisket, chicken and cheddar sausage and then we each got some slaw, that looks good, and some pickles, oh and cornbread, we got a lot, a lot of food. All sorts of sauces you can choose from. Something this restaurant is proud of is their small batch cocktails like the apple cider whiskey sour or the barrel aged Manhattan. They also have one of the largest collections of whiskey and bourbon you'll find anywhere. So if that's your thing, then this is your place. Well, there you go. Four of our no reservations required choices. So next time you find yourself in Disney Springs without a dining reservation, give one of these a shot. We're pretty sure you'll be happy you did. Join us again next week for another video. But since you're here and you just finished this one, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe so you'll never miss another one of our videos, and make sure to turn on the notifications so you'll get a nice little reminder letting you know that your week is about to get better because the Flack Fam has uploaded another video. Thanks again and have a great weekend. Bye!